Alright, so was living in the shadow of Super Smash Bros. a warm place to be? Let's find out. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. So PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale is pretty much a Smash Brothers style fighting game but involving Sony characters for the PlayStation 3 and PS Vita. And is it fun? Let me explain it again. It's a Super Smash Brothers style game with Sony PlayStation characters. Yeah, it's a bit fun. Now, although the gameplay is pretty much Smash Brothers, you have your attack buttons. If you push up and attack, it'll do one thing. Forward and attack, it'll do another thing. Down and attack, another thing. It does play different than Smash Brothers in terms of how you knock the person out of the ring. You have this meter. When you pound on your opponent, you start building this meter. When it's full, you can do a super move. Now there's a level one super move, two super move, and three super move. And they generally speaking get more powerful. And that is the only way you can knock the person out is if you hit them with one of these attacks. Seriously, I thought it was a life bar system, but it's not. I mean, you can pound on your opponent for an hour and if you don't use your super move and knock him out, he's not going to get knocked out. And at first I was like, all right, so the super move is the only way to knock the person out? I'm not sure if I like that. I mean, really, if you pull off a really sweet combo and start nailing your opponent, knock him in the air, make him eat shit in the ground, kick him in the nuts. All you've done is kind of built up your meter a bit. He hasn't suffered anything. It's not like you're any closer to knocking him out. You're really closer to filling up your super meter. How you use that determines whether or not he's going to get knocked out. But then I noticed it keeps the pace of the game really fast. Like in Super Smash Brothers, you start getting up to 150% damage. You start running from your opponent and start playing defensively. You start finding that little pocket in Hyrule Temple and you start hiding out down there because it's really hard to get knocked out down there. The closer you are to getting knocked out in that game, the more the game slows down. But in PlayStation All-Stars, you're constantly on the offense, just smacking your opponent, just getting in his shit. The levels are really cool too, because it kind of worlds collide in the levels. It starts off with one game and you're like, oh sweet, you know, I recognize this game. And then Metal Gear Ray comes jumping in. You're like, holy shit, this is two games now. Every level has a couple of elements from a couple different games that actually blend and collide in the background. I do wish there were more levels in this game. That would have been cool. Maybe they're going to come out with DLC that has like 10 more levels. I don't know. Now there are some balancing issues in the game. Some of the super moves, like the tier one super moves for some people, you're like, oh yeah, that's like a tier two super move for someone else. Parappa the Rapper's tier one move is he does this little flash kick. It's like Guile's flash kick, only he doesn't jump high at all and he has little tiny ass Parappa the Rapper legs, so he doesn't have any range with it either. Then you take Raiden's tier one super move and he stands on his hands and spins around with his legs extended horizontally. You can wipe out three guys in a cluster with that move, no problem. It's a bit more broken than Parappa the Rapper little one. If you're playing the game for the first time, pick Kratos. Why? Because Kratos is completely brutal. And he's easy to play as. Takes a little more skill to win with Parappa the Rapper with his little legs. Now playing online is really fun, but again, this is also where the balance issues come in. Right now, it just throws you into a match. It's like, alright, here, fight these guys who are way more skilled than you, so you're gonna get destroyed. I got destroyed anyway. I'm just like, I... Okay. This is fun to play with my friends because, you know, we're all on the same level, really. You go online, you're like, sweet, I'm eating shit. These guys are crazy. I don't go online every day, so these guys have a jump start. Like, a week jump start in video game years. That's like 10 years. They're coming out with a patch, I believe it's next week, that's gonna fix that. You go online, it's gonna pair you up with people who are about as good as you. As it stands right now, you go online picking Parappa the Rapper with level 32, and then you're fighting Raiden with level 356, and Kratos with level 573. You're gonna get your balls kicked in. Single player can campaign exists, but I see it as a way to get familiar with a character. Then after you play through the single player campaign, hopefully you're familiar with the character and then you can play him online or against people. Single player campaign otherwise is pretty useless. It's completely made for multiplayer. And I would have liked to have seen the game be a little more customizable. I mean, the more you play a character, the more you level him up, the more you unlock things with him, you know, different intros, different outros, different outfits, different taunts. That's really cool, but you only get to unlock a couple each. That would have been cool to have like, you know, 10. Maybe I'm asking for a bit too much, but I just wanted to see more customization with the characters and the levels. If I'm going to compare it to Smash Brothers Brawl again and Super Smash Brothers Brawl, you can pick among a lot of songs with one level. It's like, all right, I want it to play this song. I want it to play that song. I really like that. And this game doesn't have that. I kind of see games like this as the test run. I'm pretty sure when they made PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, they wanted to make it a franchise. It's not like they were like, oh, we're going to make this game. It's going to be the one that ever exists ever. So I'm sure if there's a sequel, it's going to be packed with content, all the content you wanted to see in the first one. That being said, for 
for an opening act for a franchise like this, it would have been great to really hit hard and pack this thing with content. They didn't do that. I just feel that's a missed opportunity. Now, this game exists for PS3 and PS Vita. What's really cool is if you buy the PlayStation 3 version, you get the PS Vita version for free. You just download it on your Vita. You have it. It's cool for them to do that. You know, you'll be like, oh, I'm at grandma's house and I'm bored shitless. I could really go for unlocking content in PlayStation All-Stars. Oh, look at that. I can. That is awesome. And I think that should actually be the example of what PS Vita should be. If there's a game that comes out for PS3 and PS Vita, I think if you buy it for the PS3, you should get the Vita version for free. Now, it might change the functionality of what they originally wanted the Vita to be, but I honestly feel that treating the Vita like that's better than giving the PS Vita grade B nerf bat versions of games that are kind of part of the franchise, but really not, and they're really not that great. But free cross-promotional content? Yeah, why not? In the end, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale is a blast. It's a fun-ass game. If you're gonna call it a Smash Brothers ripoff, give it a shot. I almost want to give this game two ratings because there's just a variable involved in the sense that you get the Vita version for free. But I would say PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale is worth buying at full price. The fact that you get the PS Vita version for free is awesome, but if you have no PS Vita, it really is useless. So I almost want to say if you have no PS Vita and you're really reserved, buy it when it goes on sale. Definitely when it goes on sale, it's completely worth it. There's no excuse. If you have a PS3 and don't have this game, I honestly think you're missing out. I just, you're going to have a few friends over and you're going to be like, oh, it'd be really cool to have an all out brawl type game to play on the PlayStation 3. Now you do, so that should not be an issue. So if you wanted to see a character in an all out brawl game like this, what character would it be? Whatever it is or whoever he or she is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Kick punch all in the mind. You remember, don't act like you don't.